Christoph, hello. The Hague. All right, we've lost that call. Let's go to Hollywood, California. You're on True Talk. Hi, Christoph. I'd just like to say one thing. You're a liar and a manipulator, and what you've done to Truman is sick. Well, we remember this voice, don't we? How could we forget? Uh, let's go to another call. What do we no, have? No, 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 it's fine, it, it's fine, Mike. I, I love to reminisce with former members of the cast. Sylvia, as you announced so melodramatically to the world, you think because you batted your eyes at Truman once, flirted with him, stole a few minutes of air time with him to thrust yourself and your politics into the limelight, that you know him? that you know what's right for him. Oh. You really think you're in a position to judge him? What right do you have to take a baby and, and, and turn his life into some kind of mockery? Don't you ever feel guilty? I have given Truman the chance to lead a normal life. The world, the place you live in, is the sick place. Sea Haven is the way the world should be. He's not a performer. He's a prisoner. Look at him. Look at what you've done to him. He could leave at any time. If his was more than just a vague ambition. If he was absolutely determined to discover the truth, there's no way we could prevent him. I think what distresses you, really, caller, is that ultimately, Truman prefers his cell, as you call it. Oh, that's where you're wrong. You're so wrong, and he'll prove you wrong. Well, aside from the uh, heated comments of a very vocal minority, it's been an overwhelmingly positive experience. Yes, for Truman and for the viewing public. Well, Christoph, I can't thank you enough for giving so generously of your time tonight. I think it's safe to say that now that this crisis is behind us and that Truman is back to his old self, we can look forward to some exciting new developments. Well... Mike, the big news is that Merrill will be leaving Truman in an upcoming episode, and a new romantic interest will be introduced. Uh-huh. I'm determined that television's first on-air conception will still take place. Well, another television milestone straight ahead. You heard it here first. It has been a singular honor and a pleasure, sir. Crystal, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Truman. Uh -huh. You can speak. I can hear you. Who are you? I am the creator of a television show that gives hope and joy and inspiration to millions. Then who am I? You are the star. Was nothing real? You what made you so good to watch. Listen to me, Truman. There's no more truth out there than there is in the world I created for you. Same lies. The same deceit. But in my world, you have nothing to fear. I know you better than you know yourself. Never had a camera in my head. You're afraid. That's why you can't leave. It's okay, Truman. I understand. I have been watching you your whole life. I was watching when you were born. I was watching when you took your first step. I watched you on your first day of school. <laughs> the episode when you lost your first tooth. <laughs> you can't leave, Truman. Please, God. You belong here. Talk to me. Say something. Well, say something, goddammit. You're on television. You're live to the whole world.
In case I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>